Joining us now with stories trending from around the world is Uji Okpe. Hello, Uji. Perfect. Good morning, Dr. Abati. How are you? I'm that was very on point this morning. I know, so on point. You uh, decided to be serious <laughs> this morning. I'm very proud of you, Dr. Abati. Uh, good morning, Uji. How are you good today? Good morning, Leila. Great How are you? you? Oh, it's great. Well, good morning to you, viewers. Our first topic on what's trending today is Madagascar's self-proclaimed plant-based remedy, COVID Organics, which has allegedly cured over 55 people in Madagascar. On Monday, the Secretary to the Federation, Boss Mustafa, announced that President Mohamed Buhari directed the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 to pick up the remedy, which was donated to Nigeria by, by Madagascar's President, Andri Rogelina, through Guinea-Bissau. Well, Nigerians on Twitter have shared their reactions. Our first reaction is from Adedeji, who wrote, So all our local experiments cannot be sponsored just because they are not coming from the North. We're done under this regime. It is so sad. We already have drugs and vaccines being experimented by Nigerians. Why adopt that of Madagascar over homegrown ones? Another user, Olajide, wrote, Oni of Ife gave us a formula. We were indifferent about it. Professor Iwu offered that his herbal tea be tried. We ignored him. The Malagasy tried Oni's formula and it worked well. They have repackaged it and suddenly it becomes admirable to us. Anything foreign is good. Our final tweet reads, it's so painful that Nigeria cannot develop her indigenous technology in everything. A lot of Nigerian physicians crying for government's attention to develop a cure for COVID-19 here. But our leaders will never give them a chance. Why all the way to Madagascar when we have brains here? Well, I mean, it's definitely clear that we do have to invest more in research and development, like we have been saying. But we aren't at that point yet where we're importing a whole load of COVID organics into the country and chucking it on our shelves. Imported. What we are doing is we're taking in a donation donated, that they've yes. given us to test and try with the Institute of Pharmaceutical Research and Development and NAFDAQ to see if their claims are worthy. So I think a lot of people in the tweets mentioned are jumping the ban on the bandwagon a bit too soon. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, people are likely to be emotional. They would think that, well, Nigeria should have been the one providing the leadership. Yes. Uh, considering the resources at our disposal, considering human resource, that is, you know, considering the size of our population and the number of universities and research institutes that we have. And that's why I said there are lessons that we can learn from uh, uh, Madagascar. Uh, Nigeria exports, uh, imports a lot of things. Everything. Almost. And, you know, uh, the objective is that we should be uh, uh, a center of primary production rather than consumers, rather than exporters of raw mm -hmm. materials. And it's interesting that those plants are also here. Yes. The thing to do is to fast track research and development so that Nigeria can also be in a position like uh, Madagascar where it provides yes. leadership, not just in medicine, exactly. but in uh, in uh, every aspect of uh, human engagement. Right. So I don't think it's something to be uh, politicized because one uh, uh, tweet that you read Says was something saying about, you know, the about the North. Which is the ridiculous. South. I mean, what has the uh, North versus South But the thing is that people are saying, with, uh, well, how come we're not hearing about clinical trials about our indigenous um, remedy? That's the question. They haven't gone through the right. So it, these, these are the questions people again, are asking. That the uh, Ministry of Health yeah. As a department of complementary and alternative medicine. Yes, I watched an interview from the lady. Only last week or so, day, yes. the Ministry of Health mm. and the NAVDAC met with 35 different groups or persons Correct. who had made recommendations to the government as to how Nigeria can also take a look at phytomedicine as part of the solution. So it's not as if the Nigerian government has ruled out alternative medicine. Some other country may be ahead of us, but of course it's good that there's some effort. Madagascar recorded its first case of uh, COVID-19 on March 13. And since then, they've been Zero able deaths. to keep the number Zero at 186. Mm -hmm. You impressive. know, 105 yes. have recovered. Uh, they've had zero death. Now, whether that is as a result of this... Uh, uh, COVID or guys. Th people we'll are asking, out. they need to keep showing all their numbers. Let them really show us our, their numbers, like with the testing mm -hmm. and all of that as well. So we can only know when we try. So it will be good to see what research comes out of this from and our I'm own sure institutions. When we pick up the consignment from Guinea Bissau, mm. there should be full disclosure of the number of cartons <laughs> that have you. been uh, distributed. 
and if it is declared fit for consumption, well, they have to go through the trials then there first. Should be, there should be a breakdown. The distribution yeah, starts, yes. I, that's why I say if it yeah. is found fit for mm, consumption, right. then there should be a breakdown of the consumption, of mm. the distribution. Who is going to try it first, Dr. Abati? <laughs> Actually, I actually wouldn't I mind trying try it. it. I really wouldn't I mind. I wouldn't try mind the, trying the it. The president tried it first. Yes, Remember why when not? He, he launched it? It was mm -hmm. amazing. But after NAFTA and it. well, they've been drinking it in uh, in Senegal, <laughs> yes. in uh, Guinea Equatorial, mm -hmm. and also most recently in Chad. What yes. it is really is just another herbal remedy that has been proposed, but it's gone through the right research, and really and truly, there's nothing to be afraid. Well, of. let's hope this one comes out as well, a, you know, a big it, deal it for Africa. Is there any product? that Nigeria has produced that is available across Africa, that is made in Nigeria. That is the well. question. That's a this question. That's problem. why it's such a huge trend right now. That's what mm -hmm. everyone is asking. Because the, the problem is it yes. can be done. That's the the problem is it can be done, and there's so much yeah. will for it to be done. We have so many people with ideas, with innovation, critical thinking, coming and stepping out with ideas, and we need to see governments and relevant stakeholders just taking those innovations way more seriously so that we can end up in a position like Madagascar, where yes. now they're exporting across Africa and maybe to the, to the world at Look some at point. Look at Madagascar with... Uh, COVID organics. Look, uh, Rwanda, mm. there's a special, uh, you know, seasoning that they have in, um, in uh, uh, Rwanda. It's called Akabanga. Mm. Akabanga is sold across uh, West Africa, and yet it is produced in uh, South Africa. It's just a form of spice. Yeah. So what is it in Nigeria that we have been able to produce that it's homemade here, that we are you know, engaging Africa. Well, hopefully the Dogoyaro might become fa very famous soon. If this comes again. Again. Yes, the Dogoyaro. <laughs> no, a lot of research should yes. actually be done into neem leaves and Almost, the yes. benefits. The Artemisia yeah. as well. Well, let's, take, let's head over to Ghana now, where the country's president, Nana Akufo Addo, announced that 533 people in the country have contracted COVID-19 from one factory worker. In a press briefing on Sunday, the president said the infection was detected from a backlog of 921 samples collected for testing in April, and that is just being reported by health officials. The infection, which originated from a fish processing plant in the port city of Kema, has now brought the total number of confirmed cases in the West African region to about 4,700. Some social media users have shared their skepticism over the news. One user wrote, how do they know that every single case came from, one, from that one person? Were they all isolated with this person and never came in contact with anyone else? Make it make sense. Another user wrote, with many workers in meat processing factories testing positive for COVID-19, 100 plus fishing processing plant workers in Ghana, nearly 400 at a Missouri park, pork plant, and reportedly a swab from a goat in Tanzania. Could these be false positive re results? Now, so this is the conversation. People are so skeptical still about this whole coronavirus infection. I mean, that one tweet read about how do they know. There's also the gene sequencing that, you know, they could tell that that's where, yeah. you know, that, that's where it originated from. But mm. that conversation is really the issue here, that people are so, so skeptical about how this infection is being spread out. I think people are also yet to see how contagious this virus yes, is yet and to yet to see that this correct. is why the world is taking this virus so seriously not yes. because it's the biggest killer but because of how contagious it is this is not the first super spreading report that we've seen in the world we've had super spreading reports going on in south korea in china and other parts of the world case number 31 i think it was called of the lady that infected thousands of people right. one person alone so really and truly i think let's take it more seriously this is just how contagious coronavirus it was is. such a shocking story when i read it i was like wow well, two quick uh, additions uh, one, this is at a fish processing plant. So it raises questions about workplace safety. Yes. And that's a big issue in the United Kingdom at the moment. People are saying for people to go to work, employers of labor need to take extra precautions so that the workplace does not become a space for community transmission. Two, President Nana Kufuadu has made it clear that this is not a direct result of the easing of the lockdown. Yeah, yeah that's That these samples topic, yeah. have been collected as far back as before April 26. And that the figures that they are seeing in uh, Ghana, over 161,000 uh, testing has been done. And that is the highest within West Africa per million. That's in West Africa. South Africa generally has a higher number. And that this shows that their testing capacity and their laboratory uh, testing and all of that is something that is working. 
However, he has extended the lockdown. Schools and universities will remain, will remain closed, closed till yes. the end of May. Correct. Oji, thanks for what's Thank trending today. And we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.